What's going on there, YouTube? <gasps> Vapen with Twisted 420 has returned! <laughs> That's right, people. We are back. We are fucking back. It feels like an eternity. How have you guys been? Man, it's been a while. I, I, I'm back from vacation. Had a really good time. Uh, did some traveling. Saw some stuff on the East Coast. It was really, really cool. It was a good little break. But now I'm back. And I'm ready to shoot some motherfucking videos, people. And we got some fun stuff planned. Man, I came back. And it's fucking storming. It's cold. I was very shocked. It's fucking warmer up where I was than where I am. But anyway. Anyway, people. Let's get back on track with things. And today we're going to get back on track with things with the review. That's right, people. A fucking review. And we're going to try to do something a little different with the format. I've been thinking of some things. We're going to play with some stuff. But first and foremost, what the fuck are we looking at today, people? Today we are taking a gander at the RevTech Phantom 220 watt kit. That's right, people. RevTech. And these guys... I like their stuff. Their first round, they had all those devices. Now they came back with just one, and I kind of like what they're doing. And before we get into any of the other stuff, one thing they're doing on here I think is really cool. I haven't seen really done much at all. They got a fucking pin set up. You can do a lock, little fucking lock pin on here, and people can't pick up your stuff and vape it. Really good idea, but we're going to get into that and more and talk about all kinds of stuff. But we're going to break things down. We're going to break them down into sections, people. And we're going to see how it works out. Hopefully good. Fuck me. I don't know. We're going to see. But let's, let's, let's just play it by ear and see how it goes. The Phantom is a 220 watt dual 18650 device that has a 2.8 inch huge screen. It comes with this Rev Drift 2 tank. It's available in nine different colors. And I don't know a price, unfortunately. I don't know the price. They have I haven't seen it for sale anywhere. I just got a link to their website. But yeah, that pretty much lets you know what's going on here, okay? That's the cliff notes of what the fuck we got going. And the first thing you're gonna notice is life in the fast lane. Oh yeah, shit's about to get real. You know, I saw some pretty, uh, saw some pretty silly stuff um, on their website too. Uh, I'll, I'll bring it up later on. It'll be pretty. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. But let's see what's inside here, people. All right, we got a red one here. And I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on Instagram with some of these. So if you're into that kind of stuff, maybe. You, oh, son of a bitch. What? Uh, we had some stuff fall out here. Okay, never mind. It's just a quick button guide. Check that out. Let you know how to do some stuff real quick if you need to. Don't worry, I'm going to show you. So yeah, check it out. Got our device in here. Love that gradient paint. You got your tank. And if we take all that out and dig a little bit deeper, we're going to discover more contents. And I kind of like this little labeling in here. It looks kind of classy. I dig it. It's even got their coil shape in there. Take this open her up and we're gonna have all kinds of goodies in this bitch yeah get all these manuals and stuff out you got warranty cards warning wait that's, that's got me nervous let me see what this is about do not use this device other than vaping what <laughs> that's the first thing it says do not use this device all right fuck it um we're, we're gonna move right past it we got a manual here pretty dope warranty card nobody uses these does anybody even fill these out i would love for companies to send in like statistics of how many people send in warranty cards that'd be dope be curious to know all right we got an extra glass in here for our tank some extra o-rings and seals all right pretty standard stuff we also have oh look at this little fancy oh fuck fuck me that's the, that's the neighbor that's his, that's his truck. That's his damn truck. It sounds good. I'm not going to lie. It sounds good. Give me just a second. All right, folks, now that he's gone, yeah, this is a really nice USB cable. Look at that. Very nice. I dig it. Nice and braided. It feels, feels quality. And last but not least, ugh, come here. Come, yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. All right, last but not least, we have ugh, extra coil. They went through a lot of, uh, but yeah, this is a quad mesh. We're going to talk about the tank and coils coming up next. But yes, people, that is all the packaging contents right there. So here's the Rev 2 tank, all right, five mil capacity, and you got a little arrow here, push back, top fill, pretty simple, pretty simple, Ugh. come off you son of a bitch, yeah, bam, 810 drip tip, removable up there, put your own shit up there, um, 
Let's go ahead and move on down to the bottom. Got some adjustable airflow, pretty standard shit there. Now this is one of those systems where like you can't see the juice level down here and uh, somebody, who did that first? Somebody had, I think Vaporesso had a tank, the Cascade if I'm not mistaken, where it had the juice down there so when you're tilting it while vaping it, you're still getting juice to your coil. Um, only thing I don't like about that is you still, like once it gets below here, you can't see your juice level, so that's a thing. But pretty standard, here's the big single mesh. We're gonna take a look at all the coils here in a second. Looks pretty good, pretty standard tank, good waking channels. Everything's been pretty good here. Here it is sitting on the device, got some liquid in it. And yeah, so that's the Drift 2 tank. I like that they're keeping everything all car themed and stuff and that the tanks actually match the mods. So that's kudos on that, kudos on that. Let's take a look at this coil family. Okay, so you can see we got three coils for this thing. The M1, the M3, and the M4. I don't know why the fuck they skipped M2, but bam, <laughs> M1, M3, M4. Okay, so we got the single coil, the triple coil, and the quad coil. This guy's a .18. These two are .15s. Let's take a quick gander at these bitches in macro mode. Quick note on these, there's uh, three of them to a pack and all of them are individually wrapped like this. I think that's kind of nice. All right, here's the M1. If we take a gander at it, yeah, it's a big single mesh. And I like the way this guy vapes. It's a pretty good little coil right here. Not a bad one, not a bad one. Here we got the M3. Check that bitch out, it's got that hexagonal kind of thing. I noticed anytime they get to like triples, or sometimes duels, they move away from a traditional mesh and go to kind of these hexagonals. But they still seem to vape great, so I'm not complaining. But that's a close up look at that one. And here's the M4, and the M4 is a little bit more peculiar in my opinion. It's got kind of uh, these, these squared off rectangular grids going on in there. But uh, yeah, this little guy vapes awesome. And I don't really know, has there been quad mesh? Maybe I'm out of the loop. But is this one of the first quad mesh-ish kind of things? I don't know, I don't know, I could be lying. But there's a close look at that guy. Now one thing I like about the guys over at RevTech is that they're pretty wild. They are not afraid to go for some pretty crazy designs and they stick to kind of their car theme. Now while everything might not always be perfect, I can't say that these motherfuckers don't swing for the fences <laughs> every time they go for it. But yeah, this kind of gradient, look at that kind of fade, that's nice. You got some grippy texture over here. All right, your, uh, your fire button, you can change the LEDs, it's RGB. You got grippy texture on it, and I like the way that it slants up. Check that slant out. That is pretty nice. You got your up and down buttons, memory buttons. Uh, we're gonna talk about all that when we get to the screen and stuff, but check out your USB. You got this plug, pops out and covers it up so you don't get any dust and, and uh, gunk in it. I don't know, fuck them. Anyway, up top, we have a spring-loaded 510 connection. It's got a nice little design there. But will it pass the triple V2 test? That is the question. Ooh, I think, I think it does, people. I think it does. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. That's one thing about this device. For a dual 18650, it's really bulky, I think. It could be a lot slimmer, you know, but I know it has this big screen. But one of the bonuses is it can fit a triple V2 up there with no overhang. So kudos, kudos. That's pretty neato, mosquito. All right, let's move along. Man, fuck off triple v2 he's rolling around and shit uh this back this back hold on let me get back in focus fuck me there we go this back has kind of this faux leather feel to it i like it and i noticed this little mesh these little three holes in mesh i don't know if that's supposed to be tailpipes it's on the front and back but that's something to notice right under here you got a little lip put your fingernail under there and bam magnets good magnets too so everything seems solid got a little pull tab Got my home tech batteries in here rocking. Everything's labeled. Everything's spring loaded. You just could fucking uh, do that and fucking uh, do that and you're good to go. All right. So there's the back on it. Like I said, big device for dual 18650s. Really big device. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, besides uh, what we're going to get into in the moment, which is the display, that is it. It's like I said, it's a big device. I got big man hands and it's still pretty fucking big. Oh yeah, the vibrating function. We'll, we'll get into all the, vi yeah, this thing vibrates people. We're going to get into all that in a second. But I just wanted to take a take a second to take a look at the, uh, the design and uh, the kind of function of everything. Okay, people, here's the big enchilada for me. Here's my main thing, the display, of course, and something interesting. Yeah, it switches over to this screensaver pretty quick, and look at that. That's pretty dope. This clock and those gears, I think that's nice. I think that looks nice, but the display, something I noticed is it goes beyond the border of the screen. The screen goes past 
these edges. It goes past the frame. Something interesting. It almost gives kind of a 3D effect from the side. But anyway, let's get into it. And one thing, boy, that button is touch. You touch it, it's ready to fucking, it's ready to fucking party, okay? So you got pretty standard stuff here. Up and down buttons, right? Everything works as promised. But the crazy thing is, and here's something super funny. Let me see. I took a picture of this shit on their website. Uh, it has a 32 megabyte chip on it or something. And it says, bigger memory for dashboards with swag. Yeah, right there. With swag. And I'm going to show you some of that swag here in a second, people. But anyway, uh, how you get into the menu. Well, one thing you can uh, do, you can do a few things. You want to turn the screen off and still vape it kind of stealth. You can do a one, two, three right there. Still vape it. You can lock it with three clicks. Three clicks to unlock, but to get into the menu, you hold down this memory button for two seconds. And I love what they've done here in the menu system. Everything is labeled. Like, usually you just get a, a fucking a letter or mode, but this tells you what you can do. Choose and select various power and temperature settings. See, I like that. You can turn it off. Factory reset this bad boy. Puff reset. You can do pin lock. Now, this is something cool. This is something cool. You can set a pin lock. You can set a lock type, and then we can go through and set a pin. And yeah, I'm gonna confirm the pin. Bam, I just saved the pin. I wasn't gonna set the whole thing up. It would take too long, but bam. Now, uh, if you set the thing down and it locks itself, uh, people can't vape it unless they put in your pin and they won't know your pin, kind of like your phone. Well, of course it's like your fucking phone. What am I talking about? But you get what I'm saying here. That is very dope in my opinion. All right, you can set the time, pretty standard stuff. Uh, damn vibrating thing, I still never get used to it. The vibrating function, you can turn it on and off. I usually leave it off, but I got it on for the purpose of the video. Um, where else? Oh, light mode. Okay, so you can set you can set the lights on here to come on and off, and you can. Ah, oh, damn it! You can set custom breathing modes and do all this shit. Multi lights. If you want to go custom, you can actually tweak the RGBs, which is pretty crazy. But over here, you can set the screen brightness. Even at its brightest, that's one thing I was gonna say, the screen, that got pretty dim. The screen still could be a little bit brighter in my opinion, even at its fullest brightness. Um, you can set how long the display stays on. Fucking vibrating function. And here's where things get, oh yeah, let me get, before we get into that, you can uh, set your colors. You can pick any colors for the button. I was hoping that it did more than the button when I first started fucking with it, but yeah, it's just around the button. So no big deal. Um, you also got VPC mode if you want to go set like a power curve. You can got that optional. You can go set a variable temperature curve as well. They got that function in here. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. You can also set this thing into bypass and then back to modes where you pick your, your different modes, temp control and power and everything. But now, now, fuck, this thing does so much. I'm trying to go through all of it. Bam, dashboards. And there's a fuck ton of them, bro. They get pretty crazy. Look at this. You got all kinds of different dashboards. Some transformers looking shit. Some more car-esque tachometer type stuff. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty wild stuff. And this one reminds me of a fidget spinner, a Russian fidget spinner, the Pepiyaka, specifically. That's kind of random. I don't know, <laughs> that's, that's a random design. But yeah, you got a lot of different ones. And uh, look at this, it's just, it's just, there's so many. And I like it. Even though I probably wouldn't use half of them, I love having all the options for the dashboards. And then we're back to the one I had. So yeah, there's a shit ton on here. I like that. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna stick it on something random. Yeah, we'll stick it on that, bam. We'll rock with that. But yeah, man, that's it, that's it. Now, if you wanna get back out of this, if you don't wanna pick any, of the, any more of this stuff, you just hold the menu button again. And then bam, we're back to vaping. Look at that shit. Look at that. That's fucking crazy. That is pretty dope. I gotta say they did a really good job on the screen. But yeah, that's how that's the layout. That's how you use it. That's all the fucking shit that you do to it, people. Now the question is, twisted, how does it vape? Okay, and I gotta say the mod vapes fine. It vapes fine. Like I said, the fire button's a little touchy and it has stuck a couple of times, but the mod, as far as the board and everything, how it fires off, it seems to be fine. It seems a little rowdy in some settings, I will admit, but it seems it seems to vape fine. No issues, resistance seems to check out fine. Everything's cool. Um, this thing is firmware upgradable. 
so that is something cool to know but as far as how the mod itself vapes it vapes good as far as i can tell now um the tank the rep the drift 2 tank the drift 2 tank vapes good as well these mesh coils that they got for it all of them are great now i haven't been able to max any of them out i did use this whole setup the whole time i was out of state on my vacation and uh i've been on one of this i think i'm on the quad coil now i've been on the quad coil for a while but i've tested out all of them all of them seem to have good flavor they said the longevity seems to be there and yeah they're still trucking as far as pros i gotta say i like i dig the design i dig the paint job i love the fact that the tank matches the mod perfectly. They use the same metals or something, I don't know. They got the paint dead on, so good there. Uh, the buttons, uh, to get into the menu, not bad. It's pretty simple. Uh, you don't make too many mistakes. It's easy to do a few things. There's some quick settings, to so to speak. Uh, I love the big screen. I really do. I wish it was a little bit brighter. I do wish it was a little bit brighter. The screen looks great. I love all the dashboards, all the stuff you can customize. The vibrating function is kind of a gimmick, but uh, not a super big deal. It's good that you can turn it off. And of course, they got firmware upgradability, so they could add other features, tweak some things, kind of come back and refine some stuff, all right? And as far as the Drip 2 tank, it vapes great. We discussed that and so forth, okay? Now, as far as cons, one thing uh, I got to say, the size, it's big and heavy, for dual 18650. I mean, sure, it's 220 watts, but for the for for its power and for the batteries that it takes, this thing is huge and heavy. But I didn't mind. I've been rocking it. I got big man hands, but for people with little dainty hands or smaller folks, you might not want to rock with this bitch every day. It'd be like lifting dumbbell. You know what I mean? So there might be a con. Um, as far as the tank, like I said, not being able to see your juice down there, starting to get paranoid and everything, that's the only other con I can say about the tank. Other than that, people, yeah, that, that's all the pros and cons I think that I can think of, okay? Overall with this guy, the Phantom, I really like what they've done here. Uh, the, I think RevTech, I like the, the, out the gate they had three mods, three different mods, different UIs. They were trying to do a lot at once. I think they came back a little bit more focused and tried to put more of that into one device and making it good. They came out with a family of mesh coils, a pretty good tank. I think overall this is a very good little piece and I kind of like the car inspired roots even though some of the stuff on the website's a little cheesy. Overall, I think this is a very good package and I like to see more from RevTech. Those guys are doing good stuff. So yeah, the overall, I'd say this is this is worth checking out. It's definitely worth checking out. If not big, it's a little big and broad and heavy, but it's really cool. It's got a dope ass screen and a bunch of settings and features. So hey, you know, not too shabby. The only thing fucking I wish I knew was the fucking price. I don't know the price. I looked everywhere. I Googled. That spit a little bit. I Googled. I looked everywhere, people. I couldn't find anything. So if nothing else, I'm going to leave some links to their website. Um in the description and you can go look at that and we will be doing some giveaways on some of these things on my instagram vaping with twist 420 so come check that out and um yeah man yeah there we go it feels good to be back man it feels good to be back hopefully you guys like the format like the video and stuff uh i did do some vlogging and stuff in new york and some other places so uh if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments i might try to put together a little bit of footage i, I vlogged exclusively on that new gopro hero 7 black and that man the stabilization on that thing is crazy great features it worked really good but uh yeah man i think that's what i got for you yeah it feels good to be back motherfuckers get ready for some reviews and some other silly shit, all right? So, yeah, links in the description, the links that I can provide anyway. And, yeah, that's what I got for you. So, with that being said, oh, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Feels good to be back, man. If you like this video, leave me a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. I don't give a shit. But I fucking told you, and fuck me, that's worth something. It truly has to be worth something. Remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on. Even if it has a crazy screen, does all kinds of stuff. As long as you're not on them gosh darn stinkies. That's what's fucking important. All right? And last but not least, <laughs> you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and the RevTech Phantom Kit, we're out. No. Vaping saves more lives than returning. <laughs>